Hi guys and welcome to another video by Elios Design Studio. In this video I'm going to be providing you with templates for completely free so that you can have an online finance blog just like the one that you see on screen. And all you need to do is watch this video and I'll show you how to install that and within the hour you'll have a fully functioning online blog. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and you'll receive updates of all my next videos when I get them published. There's going to be some really good content, uh, so how to create lots of free different websites, blogs, e-commerce stores, etc. So please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. There are a couple of things you do need. One, you need a hosting plan with a hosting provider such as SiteGround. I've got a link to SiteGround in the description. From my experience, they are the fastest and most affordable hosting provider. If you need assistance in setting this up, there's a video in the top right of your screen now, which will take you through to a video on setting up SiteGround. You will also need a subscription with Elementor Pro. This is a premium plugin. It's the best page builder for a website on the market. It's really easy to use and you'll be able to fully customize your site. The minimum package is only $50 for the entire year, um, but this will give you lots of amazing features and customizations for your website. So I can't really rate this highly enough. So to get this, please click the link in the description and it will take you through to their website, to their pricing plans, where you can choose a plan. Once you've done all that, you're ready to create this site and simply just follow the next steps. Okay, so go through to your WordPress dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the appearance, we're going to change the theme. So if you go over to the left hand side, just hover over appearance and then go over to themes. We're going to go to add new and we're going to search for one called Hello Elementor. So just type in Hello into the search bar. It will automatically come up when you search for it and just press install. It's this one in the middle, Hello Theme, Hello Elementor, install and then activate. Now we're just going to change some settings. So go over to settings. Okay, so this is where you can change your site title. I'm just going to call this Elios for the demonstration. I'm just going to remove the tagline, but you can have anything you want. Okay, this is really important here. So after HTTP, make sure that you have an S after it. So um, this basically ensures the security of your website after you've installed an SSL certificate. Now, if you haven't installed an SSL, then please go to the video in the top right of the screen now, which will take you through to a video I did on SiteGround. And in that video, it will show you how to install an SSL certificate. It's really important you do so. Um, it'll ensure the security of your site and you'll be able to process payments if you want to. Without that SSL, you won't be able to do that and your site just simply will not be trusted. So please make sure you do this. When you've done that, tick this box. Anyone can register, so anyone can sign up to your website. And then once that's done, press Save Changes. Now WordPress will kick you out once you've done that. Just log back in and it'll take you through to the settings page again. Now we've done that, we're ready to start importing our templates. Now to be able to do that, we just need one plugin. So if we go over to the left hand side, just hover over plugins and go on to add new. Now we're going to search for a plugin called template kit. So just type in template kit into the search bar. Don't need to press enter, it will automatically pop up. It's this first one here, template kit import. So install now and then activate. Now it's just a couple of extra simple steps to start the import. Um, so we'll have all of our templates for our entire website in about two minutes. So to start the import, we just need to go over to tools and we need to go down to template kit. Now click anywhere in this box and then find the file that you've downloaded called template kit and it will basically install all of the templates we need, all the pages, along with all of the plugins uh, to get our site ready. Okay, so if you click into here and find the file called template kit, it will come up with some install requirements. These are basically plugins that you need um, for the actual website to work um, and function properly. Here you have a list of all the different uh, templates that are included here. Um, so you've got your kit styles, you've got sections on each page, you've got the pages themselves, such as the home page. These are basically, so this one, earn money and entrepreneurship, uh, manage expenses. These are basically clones of the home page, but they only display blogs associated with these categories. 
So obviously this will be set up for your own categories because you want to have different pages for your users to view um, with the different categories attached. And then as we go down, we've just got more templates, single posts, which is how the blog is going to display, what the error page will look like, search results, footer, header, etc. So it's got a lot included on this template. So first we need to go onto install requirements, click that, and then you'll get a list of all different plugins. There's only five attached to here, but all you have to do is install above selected requirements and it will automatically install the plugins that you need for this website to work. So click that. It will work its way through the list. It should only take 10-20 um, seconds. Once done, press close. Now, if you notice, under each template it says ignore requirements. Um, so what we need to do we need to install Elementor Pro. We need to upload that as a plugin. So you should have downloaded um, Elementor Pro by now. If you haven't, please go to the description, click on the link to Elementor, which will take you through to the prices, and then you can uh, make a subscription. The cheapest one is only $50 for the entire year. It's the best website builder on the market. I use it for all of my websites. It's really good, really customizable. So I can't rate it highly enough. So like I said, if you haven't got it yet, go to the description, click on the link. Once you've got it, if you head over to plugins on the left hand side, just hover over it and then go on to add new. We're then going to go to upload plugin, choose the file, find the Elemental Pro file that you've now downloaded. Once found, install now and then activate plugin. Now you'll get a message pop up here uh, from Elemental Pro and you need to hit collect um, so I connect and activate. So we basically need to link this up with our website. So this will come up. Um, I always untick that. Um, it's up to you what you do and then activate. And now it's linked to our website. Now we can start importing all of the templates. It will take under two minutes to do so. So just go over to tools on the left hand side, hover over that, back down to template kit, open this up, view install kit, and now the first one you're going to install is a global kit styles. This is the overall formatting, color schemes, font, etc. So press import template and then just go through the list and just import all of the different templates. Try not to do them more than one at a time just because um, it can go really slow. So just do it one by one, um, just making your way down the list. Okay, once you've done that, there's just a couple of things that we need to double check. So if you head over to the left hand side, go on to templates. Now you'll see a list of templates here, but some of them are actually hidden. So to see the hidden templates, you just need to go to all and press that. And we just need to double check something here, which is really important. So if you go down the list, now you shouldn't have this displaying, um, but if you see a template called default kit, and that's all it will be called, you need to press trash um, and then confirm the deletion. Uh, you shouldn't have that, but sometimes you do. Sometimes Elementor puts it on. It's basically a default kind of formatting, color scheme, fonts, and all of that. There might be some problems with your formatting if that default kit isn't deleted. So it shouldn't be there, but if it is, find it in this list, press all, and find default kit and send it to the trash and confirm the deletion. Next, so some of the templates that we've just imported will now display across the entire website, such as the header, the footer, the single post, so how the blogs actually display once you actually put, a, put a, um, an article onto your website. But we just need to do one thing just to trigger all of that to go live across the website and all we need to do is just go into the header. So hover over header on the templates, go edit with Elementor. Now you won't get a logo appearing here because you need to actually attach the logo um, to the actual website, tell the website what our site logo is. We will do that in a bit. So it should display just like this. This is gray because we don't actually have any menus on our website yet, which we're obviously going to do um, a bit later too. So it should look very blank like this. So that is normal. All you need to do now is just head down to the bottom and next to update, there'll be a little arrow. If you just click that little arrow and go onto display conditions. Now on here, it should be automatically displaying across the entire site. For some reason, we just need to go into one template 
and just press save and close. So all we're going to do here is just save and close. Now that will basically trigger the header, the footer, the blog posts and all the other templates that automatically display on certain pages. They will now be displaying on those pages. So all you need to do now is come out of that once that's um, saved. Um, click the three lines at the top here and then go exit to dashboard. Okay, now all we need to do is to add our pages to the website. We've already imported the templates of those pages, so it's a really quick process from here. So if we go over to pages on the left hand side, just hover over it and go on to add new. We get this uh, box pop up, just close that, and we're going to call this one home as this is going to be our home page. Once you've typed that, go edit with Elementor. And now you should just see the header and the footer. Um, so if you go to the middle, and you're going to find this icon here, the grey circle with the white folder. I'm going to click that. We're going to go over to my templates and we're going to find the home page. So here it is, home. This is a template we've already imported. So just insert that. Press yes. And you should get a page come up just like this. Now this will look a bit funny. Um, WordPress always have a sample blog always called Hello World. Um, obviously this will be populated um, and formatted once your posts are on. All the formatting has already been done by myself, so it will display really nicely. It's the same with this. If you want to change uh, the images on the background, there's no images on the uh, import. So you just click anywhere into the box, left click, and then you'll be able to change it here. So this is the first slide. You can add new slides as well. So um, just click into that be able to upload a new image, um, change some settings here, you'll be able to go onto the content tab, type in the title, description, or if you can just if you want you can just remove it, um, put the link in there um, to follow the button, which will take you through that, that certain blog. That you can only do that actually once you've put the blog's articles um, onto the site, which we will do. Um, and obviously you can change the style and stuff on that as well. So then just click that again and then do the same for this one. I'll just quickly upload an image for this one just so you can see. So click onto it, go to background, choose image. And I'm just going to choose this image here, insert media, and then it will display on the page. You'll obviously need to make changes um, yourself because you'll have different categories. You'll probably want to say different things here. Everything on this page is customizable and the same for every other page that we're going to put on. If you just click into each section, so for example, if we go to this section here, um, we can just click onto that and then you'll be able to choose an image, um, new image. Same with this, click into the text and you'll be able to type in new text. So it's really easily customizable. So it makes it really easy for you. It's the same as we work down the page. If you want to say something else here, simply click it, change the text. All the formatting is done for you, so you don't need to worry about that. And it should look um, responsive and really good on mobile and tablet as well. And like I said before, don't worry about this section yet because this will populate once you have your articles on your website. Now, the next thing we need to make sure we do on the home page is you'll get a little box here, a gray box, and this is basically where the sidebar is going to be. Now, we've already imported the sidebar with the rest of the templates. So to find that, all you need to do is click onto here, left click. You'll see this on the side. And then all you're going to do is you're going to type in side into that sidebar will automatically come up, click that, and then it will um, put the sidebar, sidebar on. Um, again, here, this won't look correct at the moment, basically because we haven't got the posts on the site yet, but that will populate. So once done, all you have to do is press publish. Again, don't worry about the header yet because we're going to sort that out very shortly. So once you press publish, go to the three lines and exit to dashboard and then press the WordPress icon. Okay, next, so let's just um, change a couple of settings so we can get our site logo on there and we can tell WordPress what our home page is going to be. To do that, if you head over to appearance, just hover over appearance and go down to customize. You should get a page load up just like this. Um, this is basically the archives. This is because WordPress at the moment thinks this is our home page. So to change that, just go to home page settings on the left hand side, go on to a static page, find the home page drop down, click that and just press home. 
and then press publish. And now WordPress knows this is our home page. Now we're just going to add our site logo. So go back, press this button here, and then we're going to go to site identity, and then we're going to go on to select logo. I'm just going to upload a logo. This needs to be a PNG file so that the background's transparent. There's a number of websites you can use to create free logos. Just type in free logos into Google. You can use a website called Placeit. You can use Canva. There's loads of different ones. So once you've done that, just upload your logo file. So I'm just going to choose this as my logo. You'll be able to crop it here, and then it will display across the entire site as your logo. Um, we will change the size of that next, just because that's a little bit too big but we just need to go into the header to do that. So once you've done that, press publish, press the X top left, Let's go over to templates, hover over templates, just click that, and we're gonna find the header. So it's not displaying on this page, so just press all, and then there it is, the header, and then just go on to edit with Elementor. And then if we just click into the logo, if we then go over to style, and then here we can change the width. So I'm just gonna make it like that. There's a little bit at the top here, this box. We don't need that. Close that, it will bring everything up. And then all you do is press update and then it will display across the site. So go to the three lines and then exit the dashboard. Okay, so next we're gonna start putting some articles onto our website and we're also going to assign some categories to those um, articles. Now to do that, we're going to go over to the left hand menu and we're going to go to posts and we're going to go on to add new. So this is the page we're going to be writing our article. We're not going to be using Elementor for this. It's going to be directly onto WordPress. Now on this page, you'll be able to customize a lot. However, when the actual article is published, it's not going to look like it does on this screen. This is just the back end. So it's going to publish in a totally different way in the way that I've designed it to. So don't necessarily worry how it looks on this page because it's not going to look like that. So all we need to do on this page is put the title in, put the text, put any images that we want on, any videos. There's loads of different options that we can do. So if you head to the plus sign here just to take a look at what you can do on this page so obviously you can add new paragraphs headings lists you know go down the actual list here um, image gallery audio any files you want to attach video so lots and lots of different options that you can do with your actual blog post here so we're going to make it really simple for the demonstration so i'm just going to have a title i'm going to have some sample text and I'm going to have an image in the middle of the actual article. So I'll just call this one the top five ways to make money fast. So just make sure that's typed into the actual heading section. Now you may already have a blog that you've already written up. Um, if so, you can just simply copy and paste your information into this page. So I'm just going to paste in some sample text like so, and then I'm gonna place an image in the middle here, so you can either hover over the space and press a plus, or you can just click anywhere and then press the plus there, and it'll add it in once you've found the image. So I'm just gonna hover over here, press the um, plus sign to add block, and then I'm gonna choose image. Um, you can type um, things in here if you wanna search for it quickly, or you can just go and browse all. But obviously image is um, used a lot, so it'll be on the top, so press image and then upload whatever image you want on your page. I'm just gonna put in this image again, the one I used before. So now there's two things that we need to do. We need to assign it to a category so it displays on the right page and in the right section. And we also need to put a featured image on. So that's the image that people will see um, as they click onto the article. It needs to be a really clear, decent image to get people to actually want to read the article because a lot of people are driven by what image is on that. So first we're just going to choose a category. So on the right hand side here, you have two options here, post and block. You wanna head over to post, and then you wanna go down to categories. If you click on categories, you only have one displaying at the moment, but we're gonna start adding in some new ones. So just go to add new category, and then type in whatever category you want. For this, I'm just gonna have um, one as earning money. Once that's typed out, add new category. 
and it will automatically assign it. And the next one I'm going to have as managing money. Again, add new category. I'm not going to have it as managing. Um, I'm going to untick that and just have it as earning money. But here, this is where we can just add in loads of our different categories. Um, so you might as well do it here. If you know what categories you want for your entire website, you can always add in um, new ones later if you, if you need to. So I'm just going to add in a couple here. So I've got four in total I've just added. Um, I'm only going to assign it to these two ones, entrepreneurship and earning money. Now we're going to go down and we're going to choose our featured image. So click featured image, click into this box and you'll be able to find the file that you want to use. I'm just going to use this image for my featured image and then press set featured image. And that's all we need to do. So once done, press publish and then publish again. And now we can view our post. So press view post. And then this is the format and design that I've done. So it will automatically display like this. You'll have a sidebar um, where you can search, you can choose a different category. You'll have recent posts populate down here. And then here's a section where people can subscribe to your newsletter um, if you want to have that option. So as you can see, the design is a lot better than the previous page. So this is how it's automatically going to come up. So now we're just going to put on some more articles so then we can see how it all displays on the home page and the category pages. So if we go back to the dashboard, we're going to go over to posts. We're not going to go and add new this time because what we can do, we can actually make a copy of the one we've just done, um, which will make it a lot easier. Um, the hello world one, you can just send to the trash don't need that one. So if you hover over um, the one you've just put on and then go and clone this or make a copy and then we can simply go in and edit that. You may want to create a new one. I'm doing this because I'm just going to have sample text anyway and I'm just going to be switching out the images but this is um, another way to do it. If not just go on to add new. So you do have the option to quick edit. So if you do it this way you can quickly edit it here. So put in a new title I'm just going to call it that for demonstration purposes. We can choose our category. So we've already put some categories in. If you have got more categories to add, um, then you can do that by going over to posts, hover over that and going on to categories and then adding new ones. Um, so this one, we're just going to go on to, let's say, managing money and saving money just for demonstration and just update that. And now we just need to go into the page and make some changes. So just click on it change out your text. I'm obviously going to keep this the same. I'll keep this image the same, but if you wanted to replace it, you just click on it and then replace. Um, I'm just going to change the featured image. Obviously, I don't need to worry about the categories because I did that on quick edit, but if you didn't use quick edit, then just do it here. Add new ones if you want. And I'm just going to replace this featured image. And I'm just going to have it as this image. And then once done, press publish, publish again and now your article will be live. So I'm just gonna repeat that process just a couple of times. I won't record this, but I just wanna populate five to six blog posts just so you can see how it will display on the site. So at this um, time, if you do have posts to write up, this is a good opportunity um, to get it onto your website. Okay, so now I just have five blog posts on here. So now we're going to go and see how this displays on the actual home page. So if you go to the top here, mine just says my WordPress, um, but yours will be whatever you've called your website. So just click onto that and you'll be able to view your site. Your home page will load up. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see now in this section, your blogs have been populated. Really nice design, really clean design on the home page. You've also got some on the sidebar. Um, because we've assigned it to a particular category. So yeah, that's looking really good. So now what we need to do is we need to start building the category pages so that there'll be a menu at the top of the page and then people will go into that category and only see blog posts relating to that particular category. So if you head back to your dashboard, we're gonna go to pages and add new, just hover over pages. And I'm just going to call this one earning money, call yours whatever category that you want on your site. 
but we are going to be doing this within Elementor. We're not going to be using this screen. So once you've titled it, go edit with Elementor. You get this page up, you just get the header and you'll get the footer. That's all that's going to display. So now we're going to find a page. So actually what we're going to find now is we're just going to find the home page. Now if you go to that folder, go to my templates, and then we're going to find a home page. Now I have imported other pages onto here, so earn money, entrepreneurship, and manage expenses. However, we don't need to use that because those are basically just clones of the home page anyway, with a certain category put onto that page. But we're going to do that just using the home page. So go to home, insert that, press yes. Just remember to change the images on the background here as well. So just click into it like you did before click onto that and choose your images on your slides. Obviously you can then add new slides if you want to as well. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, so all you need to do is scroll down. So now you'll see five of my posts. Now, I don't actually want all of my posts displaying on this page. I only want a particular category. So here I only want the category displaying for earning money. So to do that, click anywhere in here now on the left hand side, it may seem a bit complex at the moment, but you'll have the content tab, it will automatically come up on a content tab. All you need to do is scroll down and go to query. And then in this box here where it says include by, you're going to press the plus, you're going to go to term. And now we're simply going to choose our category. So for me, it's earning money. So I'm just going to click onto that start typing it in, it will automatically come up. So it will be the same for whatever category that you've already put on. You obviously have to have already put your category on, which is why we actually put the blog posts on um, in the previous step. So select your category and now only blog posts on this page is displaying um, for the earning money. So you can, if you want to have a a title on this page to make it clear straight away or if you want to just have the posts displaying so you could literally just close all of these just cancel them and then you only get this block displaying with the sidebar so obviously the sidebar here um, same as before same with the home page we're just going to click onto that and we're going to then click on here and then type inside it will come up and it will populate the sidebar and that's all we have to do there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a title above the blog posts called earning money. So if you go to the nine dots here, press that, grab your heading, just click on a heading, drag it over, place it above here. And I'm just going to click in here. It's always best to type in on the left hand side um, here rather than typing into this section. So just type in whatever category uh, you have. I'm just going to call it earning money article so people can clearly see um, that is this category. I could also pull it on the top of the page if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep it like that for the demonstration. So once done, just press publish and then go to the three lines at the top and then exit to dashboard and then press the WordPress logo to go back. Now what you can do here for your other categories, you can just make it really simple and simply clone the page that we've just done. So we just hover over it, earning money, and we're gonna go on to clone this, just like we did for the actual blog posts. Now this will come up, you can quick edit, change the title. So I'm gonna call this saving money, and then I'm gonna just press update, and then I'm gonna go into it and edit with Elementor. And because you would have put the images in on the previous um, category page, it'll automatically pop up here. And all you have to do here is change this to whatever category you've just put on. So mine is going to be saving money. Um, and then we're going to click into here, anywhere in here. Under the content tab, we're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to go to query. We're going to delete this category here. Just press the little X. And then you're going to type in the next category. So my one is saving money. Automatically come up. And now only blog posts associated with saving money will populate. Once done, just press publish and then the three lines at the top of the page, exit to dashboard and then the WordPress icon to go back again. And now we just need to put our menu onto the top header and create a footer menu. 
So to do that, we're going to go over to Appearance, hover over Appearance, and go to Menus. So you shouldn't have any menus created at the moment, so it will come up with this page, and we're just going to basically hit Create Menu, but we're just going to make some changes. So we're going to tick this box for Primary, because this is going to be our primary menu at the top of the page. And now we're going to choose what pages we want to display on the menu. So this sample page I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to press the arrow, I'm going to remove. It would probably be easier if I had just removed that from the pages. So now we've just got home, earning money, saving money. Um, that's all I've built on this site at the moment. You'll probably have a lot more pages than this, a lot more categories. If you don't want all of your categories displaying across the top of the page, you can put them in a drop down box. So to do that, all you need to do is go down to custom links here, click that. If you just type in hash, tag into that, and then call this whatever you want. So I'm just going to put this as, say, categories, and then add to menu, drag the categories up. So I'm going to pull it under the home page. I'm going to make sure the actual categories. So the earning money and saving money displays underneath that. So you're just going to move it over a little bit. So it's just indented here. Same for this one. And then we're going to press save menu. Now you will have other pages as well that you want on, such as a contact page, etc. But you'll just be able to go onto pages, add new, and then create a contact page. Same for any other pages that you want on your website. So make sure this is saved, because if you leave this, then it won't, um, and, and you have to come back and do it all over again. Now you will also need a footer menu with some legal pages, um, your privacy policy, terms and conditions, things like that. Um, so we'll just do that before we move on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top here where it says create a new menu, click that, and then we're going to choose this, and we're just going to call it uh, footer. We're then going to go to create menu and then you're simply going to add in the pages so we haven't got any uh, legal pages generated at the moment all you need to do to do that is go on to um, pages add new type up um, what you want in that legal document there are plugins where you can do that so if you go over to plugins go on add new type in say terms and conditions one of the top plugins um, will be able to populate a terms and conditions page for you. But we're just going to do this manually just for the demonstration purpose. So if you go over to custom links, and we're going to do this the same as we did before. So we're just going to um, put in hashtag. I'm just going to type in privacy policy. I'm going to add that to the menu. I'm going to do the same for the terms and conditions. I'm going to add that to the menu. Obviously, you will need to put a link here linking to the correct page so your viewers can see it, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to press Save Menu. Now we're going to go into our footer. So we're going to hover over Templates. We're going to go to Theme Builder, and then we're going to scroll down to Footer, Edit with Elementor. So automatically on this uh, footer, you do have a link to the Privacy Policy in Terms and Conditions, but there's nothing actually attached to that. Now what we want to do is we want to just put in that footer menu. So right click on that and you're going to delete it. And now we're going to go to the nine dots here and we're going to find the widget nav menu. It should be at the top here. If not, just type in nav, drag and drop it, pull it under legal and make sure, so it's automatically on here, make sure under content, under menu, choose the correct menu so it's automatically on footer and it will display this. I'm just going to align that in the center. For some reason my social icons are not displaying properly so just to get them back on just right click on here let's just delete those and let's find them again so type in social find the social icons here just drag and drop it and then you'll get them displaying here you can format that I'm just going to have it as a circle and I'm going to change the color. So go over to style. Um, I don't want the official color. I want it as a custom color. I'm going to have the secondary color as say near black and then the primary color I want transparent. So just go to the color, drag this slider across and then it will just display like so. And then if you wanted to add more in, go to content and then you can just add item, find the relevant social icon. 
So once that's done, just press update, and now we can go back to our dashboard, and we're basically going to um, make sure the header is in the right place as well. So if we go back over to Theme Builder on templates, and we're going to go into the header, so edit with Elementor. Now, as you can see here, the wrong menu is on the header. This is actually the footer menu. So we're just going to click anywhere on that. We're going to make sure it's under content. Next to the menu, as you can see, it says footer. I'm going to choose this menu one, because that's what we called it. As you can see now, uh, there's the category page, uh, the drop down, and it will take you through to those particular categories. Um, obviously, if we didn't indent it, then it would display across the top, but that will be fine for the demonstration. So once selected, just press update, and then three lines at the top and exit to dashboard. Okay, and now let's view our site. Go to the top, and this is how our site is looking. So it looks really good. Uh, you always be a bit different because you would have customized it differently to kind of tailor it to your needs. Uh, we've got our legal pages here. If we had put a link on here, they could easily go to the page. Um, if you need assistance with that, please do put a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and assist you doing that. Um, but all our blog posts are displaying really nicely. You obviously need to change you know, the text within here, so just find the template sidebar and you'll be able to type in your own text, your own name, upload your own photo if you want a photograph of yourself, but you can always delete this little section um, if you want to. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that has been really helpful and you now have a fully functioning online blog. If you have liked it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that you get updated on my next videos. If you did like it as well, please um, press the like button. Um, if you didn't like it, please dislike it and, and do let me know why so I can improve future videos. There's going to be some really good content being uh, put out over the next weeks, months, etc. So please do subscribe and you'll get notified of that. Once again, thank you for watching and I really hope I see you in the next video.